Hello again everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Hoiled Hunt and we are back here in Novigrad once again and um, to be honest, I think I've pretty much basically forgotten I forgot what I'm even doing. Um, so I think we need to go back to talk to... Wow, my voice completely broke then. I think we need to go back to talk to Cleaver. Uh, first things first, just judging by our quest list here. I think going back to talk to Cleaver would be a good thing. Uh, we can probably inform him that... Well, I mean, I basically didn't do anything with his guys. I basically cleaned up the places by myself. Um, actually, to be fair, Cleaver's guys did 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 get into the arena after I was finished. Oh, I've also leveled up, apparently. I, I didn't even realise that. Yeah, I, I didn't even realise that, the, the, that that was actually a thing. Oh, well, there you go. Right, well, I'll, up I'll upgrade... Um... What do we want to upgrade? Crushing blows? Maybe? Or... Is there anything else we can get? That would be quite useful. Uh, undying is quite good, to be fair, but... Uh, I think I think we'll just upgrade what we have now. All the, oh no, actually, we, we do have an extra slot now. I, I've only just realised. So can we actually put one in then? I'll tell you what then, if we make an extra damage um, uh, upgrade, or combat upgrade I should say, lightning reflexes, cut of blood, undying resolve... Uh, yeah, we'll get undying. We'll get undying and we'll put it there. So that's, that should boost, boost it slightly. Uh, with the um, werewolf mutagen. I... Th I, I I think I think that's how it works anyway, but yeah, at least at least we are we are now more boosted. Right, so uh let's check this merchant. Welcome. I'm pretty sure we've played Gwen with him. Yes we have. So Looks to me like a Gwen aficionado. Yeah. A lot a lot of people in this damn city are, unfortunately. Some of them are pretty tricky. Right, so let's let's, let's go talk to Cleaver and inform of the good news or the bad news? I don't know. I d I don't know what kind of news news it is, to be honest. What do you want? So I went to Junior's joint. Decided to tend to Horace and Junior myself. I I heard fucking martyr facing the world. <laughs> fucking <the> martyr. <laughs> Your bloody choice. It's not what we agreed though. So you'll not see a copper out. Of That's it. fair enough. Wasn't I respect that. Anything. I just I just thought I'd what come and you tell you. Anything else? Like no, I can't get anything else out of Cleaver. Eh, I mean, I, th I think Cleaver's was more... I, mean, I was going to say Cleaver's more just very blunt and rush in and start smashing heads in, but that's kind of what I did as well, so I can't really have a go at him for that. Right, now that that's done, uh, how about we go uh, and... Let let's go speak to Vernon Roach. I think, I, I think we should go speak to Vernon Roach. Uh, since we... Uh, it's, it's apparently he may be able to ha find us. He may be able to help us find um, Horson. Apparently, so we may as well call upon an old friend. Oh yeah, because Horson is in league with uh, is in league with Radovid. We we found out, which was a pretty surprising twist. But we do know that that potentially. Uh, Vernon Roach may be able to help us maybe connect the dots, if you will. And like I say, it's been quite a while since we've seen Vernon Roach, and, and, let, and let's remember, we didn't side with him, really, in The Witcher 2, did we? We we favoured Yorvith, although we did do our utmost to make sure that Roach was okay at the same time. Like, we didn't want him to die, because he did uh, he did help us out a great deal in The Witcher 2, did, uh, did, did Roach. He, even after we, we'd actually... Uh, Roach, please get up the fire. There we go. Um, it, even after we decided with Yorvith, he, he, he decided to help us out in... Um, in helping... Uh, in, in us getting into... Whatchamacallit? Um, Henselt's camp. So he did, a, he did a damn fine job there. So we do still, we do still owe Roach quite a bit. Uh, if my horse would start galloping properly, that would be very nice. Honestly, what is happening with my horse? It is so strange. Anyway. 
And so hopefully Roach can help us out once again. If we have to do a favor for him in the process, so be it. Hopefully it's not helping helping out Radovid too much, because man does not like Radovid. Um, he's probably somewhat better than Var M Rice, as I think I've said a couple of times, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's like saying that's like saying a a, a knife wound is probably is probably better than a than a gunshot, you know. Probably. Well, it depends on where you hit, where you hit the person with the knife or the gun. Getting some very weird analogies here, so I should probably stop. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, Vernon Roach. Vernon Roach is our is our is our main priority. So we'll go and see, go and see him now. Apparently, he's, apparently he's in a he's in a partisan camp. Um, I'm assuming that's Redanian partisans. I don't know. I'm not I'm not 100 sure exactly what kind of location we're heading towards here. I wonder if he still has the likes of Vest with him as well, or or whether he's or whether he's he's kind of just signed up with the Redanians pretty pretty much solo. Because he did have a very good unit, but I don't know I don't know if that unit still exists, but just under a different command, or whether they just disbanded after obviously Tamiria basically went down under. I mean Tamiria may as well just not exist anymore, basically. So. Okay, we're not far away from the camp now anyway, even though Roach is still very much misbehaving. It's probably differentiate between Vernon Roach and Roach my horse. There's probably a slight difference in pronunciation, but you are not gonna get that from me. I can barely I can barely speak at the best of times. Hey there. Tamerian Partisan hideout. Okay, no, so this so this actually still is Tamerian Partisans. That that, that explains why the Partisans, because it's true you kill two. You and our commander. No. Well, where, where, where did Vernon Roach kill kings? Huh? Okay, so these guys are still loyal to Samiria, so so they might not be associated with, with Redania at all. But Roach might might know something. I don't know. That's that's not fucking Looking Vernon Roach. Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? <laughs> what do you do here? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. <laughs> Don't migrate here either. This guy's good, to be honest with you. <laughs> you let me in now. Gonna walk in the camp now. Aye. Naturally. And you're gonna go look for hornbills. Aye. <laughs> Good luck with the hornbills. Hortensio. Hot, what a lovely name. So I'm gonna guess Roach is here. Oh, that 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 looks like a Roach build. Geralt of Rivia. Yep, it's the man himself. Look at look at him. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Love all you want. Tamaria will rise again. He looks younger, if anything. Cannot abandon oh, it's Vess. You can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. Eesh. I mean, whatever's happening, and maybe I could help. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. What do you do these days? What do you do here? And square tell? You jest, right? Who cares about the square tell anymore? Wow, coming from Roach, that's that's, that's something. Matters. How'd you wind up here? How'd you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the second Temerian army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. So he served under, under John Natalis directly? And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Oof. They were always going to be stronger, weren't I they? I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. 
that he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than an ear. So I decided I would mount my own fight. You're probably right there, to be honest, uh, Vernon. I do not blame you. Right, I'm looking for Willy. Well, Wiley, sorry. Also known as Horson Jr. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. No, I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. <laughs> You'll have to point them out. Mm -hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help or do I need to keep looking? Mm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenford. At a chess club. Thanks. A chess you club? On you. Ah, Vernon, you, you hero. Meet Roach by the bridge in Oxenford. Okay, okay, I can I can do that hopefully. Mother Tameria bull me! For Mother Tameria, I'll die. Is Vess around anywhere? Maybe. Quite a few Tamerian gorillas. Report. Subjects in the cabin aboard the Tretagor. I have observed I've observed that he is a fervent chess player. To this end he makes frequent incognito visits to a certain building. Yesterday I tried to eavesdrop on a conversation. I have the impression someone is onto me. I was followed, but managed to lose my tail. Hmm. The Sumerians are doing a lot of spying. Probably understand understandable given the circumstances. Yeah. So let's let's not loot anything uh, in here unless it's a document or something like that, because the Sumerians will not be happy with me. But understandably so. witches, they can't catch the pox. In that right. Uh, so is is Vess actually here anywhere, or or anyone else of note in the Tamerian uh, forces, or is it just Roach and whoever else? I certainly can't. I certainly can't see Vess anywhere, so I'm just gonna probably have to leave it for now. All right then. Yeah, do not see any sign of a vest. Okay, so. So it's a meat roach by the bridge in Oxenfurt, which is actually not too far away from here, if we're being honest. Uh, yeah, overall it's actually pretty close, isn't it? So, yeah, we, we may as well just, just head down to Oxenfurt. Come on, roach. It's been, it's been a while since we've been down there, so let's, let's, let's go. I think we approached Oxenfur from the other side last time when we, when we went when we went into it as well, so we might find something else at the opposite gate which we maybe didn't find the first time round. Let's go see that Roach does does still have a decent deal of respect for Geralt though. What the Whoa. Are you parading a basilisk around? You've got there. Course it's interesting. One see a beast like this anywhere near here. They spawn only in the wild wastes of Zerikania. From eggs laid by cockerels. Huh? From cockerel eggs? Cockerel eggs, you say? Yeah, and what cocks they are. Lift their rumps like brood ends to other cocks. Eggs laid by such a cockerel must be brought to hatching by 101 venomous vipers. Then the young basilisk pecks its way out. Sounds like a tall tale. That's a wyvern, not a basilisk. This basilisk is interesting because it looks exactly like a wyvern. Yeah, the that wyvern. looks so much like They'll a wyvern. That. You talk nonsense, sir. This is the most truest of basilisks. Right, what do I know? I'm just a wyvern. <laughs> <laughs> If that's no basilisk, but some weavern, what did I pay Weavern. Give me back my cotton cheat. Uh oh. Five soldiers, don't push, or it'll roll my chair. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Guess the cage was as fake as the basilisk. Yeah. Yeah, it was. 
Fucking hell, that was, uh... That was something, wasn't it? Your kind spreads disease. Defeat is an desertion. Did... Did the... Did the beast tamer just leg it, then? Because I can't see him anyway, he's just Redanian soldiers. Oh, watch your step. Oh, well, that was different, I suppose. <laughs> A, a certain version of a of a of a snake oil salesman. That guy. Very very cheeky. Vernon. My contact <coughs> awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over. Who is this contact? Yeah. Your contact. Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him. Were the circumstances any different? You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one, including you. I'll give you that one. Let's go. Come on. Enter the chess club. I thought, I thought those Redanians were holding rifles there, but they were crossbows. Something's not right. Uh, why is there a bunch of witch hunters here? Let's see what. Is there been a break in? Those guys look hella suspicious, I'm not going to lie. The fact they're just hovering there. Is that Radovid? No, it's not, is it? Wait, it is. Checkmate. Don't think he knows. He don't think he know. He, he knows how to play chess. What in the fuck? They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish! Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher. Do you know why I play chess? Uh, for practice? For practice? To hone your thinking? No. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Okay. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open, squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> you do not because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. The king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And that is check and death. You see, Witcher, chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces. Now do you see? Yes. <coughs> oh my god, excuse me, I'm allergic to bullshit. Um, <coughs> anyway, I, th I think I see what he's getting at. He basically says that, you know, the, the idea is to prevent your king from being being trapped in for using any methods in, and that would be including blo uh, sacrificing your own chess pieces to be able to get the king out of the way so yeah I, I guess I, I think I do now unimportant let us speak but, uh, unimportant which you here I think he'd best explain I had no idea I was going to meet a king expected a Redanian spy I had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you have an opportunity to emit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. 
So, so, but Roach said that 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 he didn't think that um, Radovid was any better than uh, any better than Var Emrice, and he also just called him a slippery bugger. I mean, he, he did say that it was circumstances that kind of made him work with Radovid, but still, okay. I'm looking for Horson Junior. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Horson Junior. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. It's very generous of you, I have placed Sir Radovid. In a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. That sounds delightful. If Junior sees me, he's gonna know who I am. It, why would you just give me a horse, son? You just give me a man after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. Okay. That's. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Gets more and more intriguing by the minute this does, doesn't it? I mean, he did Not say that Junior had kind of failed in what he, what he actually... I know where to find Junior. Don't really yeah. care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favour. I have a terrible problem with Bess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Well, he did help me out, and I could clearly see there was something up with um something up with Bess, so. Okay. Well, this is curious. I didn't expect Radovid to be so forthcoming like that. I thought it'd be more secretive and aggressive, if anything, but um, clearly not. I mean, to be fair, Radovid did say that in the note that uh, Horson had lost his kind. Of, well, not lost his purpose, but he had failed. He had failed in attempting to to take out the other three of the big four. So maybe that's why he's more willingly handing him over. But the fact that he's now expecting a repayment is somewhat concerning. Right, it did not take long for King Radovid of Redania to prove himself a hard and ruthless ruler, one fully deserving to be styled at the stern. His father, King Vizimir, was murdered when Radovid was quite young, and his mother, Hedwig of Malio, and a regency council ruled in his stead. Young Radovid soon seized power in his own right, however, and wrought vengeance on those who had treated him with disrespect. He took to forcing all his potential political opponents to swear allegiance or face death. He waged war not only against Nilfgaard, but also against mages, whom he saw as the root of all evil. Radovid also made every effort to gain control over the free city of Novigrad, whose fleet and treasury could tip the scales of the ongoing conflict in his favour. That was probably why he was attempting to use, um, attempting to use uh, Horson as well. Geralt's meeting with Radovid confirmed the rumours circulated about the king's mental state. The Redanian monarch was a dangerous madman trapped in his own world of disturbing visions. This did not make him one jot less intelligent or cunning, however. Despite his mental afflictions, the young king was manipulating his opponents like a highly skilled puppet master. Yeah, he very clearly is mentally unhinged after the stuff he was saying about the chess pieces, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much longer he, he has before he just goes full on off the rails, but again, it, it's, it's, it's definitely the lesser of two evils between him and Emrys, isn't it? Right, as commander of the Tamirian Special Forces and elite squadron known, also known also as the Blue Stripes, Vernon Roach had been one of King Foltest's most trusted subordinates. Time and time again, Roach had proved himself loyal, effective, and a thorough professional. Few could match his skill at subduing revolts, fighting off Nilf Guardians, or snuffing out bands of Skytel. At the start of our story, however, he had lost his king, his men, and his homeland, and so had resorted to waging a guerrilla war against the overwhelming occupying forces. In his war of assassinations, ambushes, and night raids, Roach depended on Redanian help, but it was clear he took no pleasure from working with Radovid. Yeah, that's very obvious. Definitely no secret that, that, he, uh, that he doesn't like him. 
So as it turned out, Radovid's plan was for, Horsen, was for Horsen to start a gang war in Novigrad. In the resulting chaos, Radovid would take control of the city with ease. And he kind of failed to actually make that happen, didn't he? So again, that's maybe why Radovid's saying, well, you're not used to it. You're not used to me anymore. I'll use you as a bargaining chip with Geralt now, who clearly is very influential in his own right. So you, you can see what Radovid's trying to do anyway. So we'll leave that episode here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you in the next episode of The Witcher 3. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.